What's good, y'all? It's Day Tanae with Cole Orange, back with another interview. Uh, today we have Q's own Lil Mugga in the crib with us today. Yo, yo. How you doing? Good, you? Doing good. Um, happy to have you here. Thank you. We were saying this is your first interview. Uh-huh. Yeah, what, what made you decide now is the time to start really getting your name out there, doing interviews, getting content? Why now? Um, I, had, I was making music about like three years ago. And then, you know, I had a baby, I was in school. So when all that happened, <clears throat> it took me to like, to take a little step out of the music. So when I took a little step out of the music, my opinion, like all eyes just fell off of me. Okay. So like now, it's like, you know, I just dropped a little EP, everybody tuning in that, it's called Wake Up. And um, yeah, right now with all of this going on, I feel like this to bring the attention back. Okay. Well, yeah, I want to, I do want to get into your, like, background, your story a little bit. So, were you born, raised in Syracuse here? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I actually was born in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ah, my okay. mom had to go get my dad from down there. So, um, she ended up having me there, and then, you know, I ended up coming to Syracuse, so okay. I was raised here. Okay. Yeah. And you grew up here? Yeah, I grew up here. What, um, when... Did you start recording music? What made you get into music and just inspire you to want to even record? I, know, I was about like 12 when I really started making music. Mm -hmm. But like when I really recorded my first song, I was probably like 14. And I only did it because my cousin Munta Cams used to rap. Ah, yeah, I probably did a video for cam. him before. Yep, Free Cam. He used to rap. And uh, C. Newt too, Free C. Newt. He rapped mm -hmm. too. They inspired me too. Well, okay. So you grew up kind of listening to mm -hmm. some of the local guys too yeah. here? Who, who else besides them two? Was there anybody else you were listening to young that was from Syracuse at all? Syracuse, I know. Yeah, I used to. I listened to Blizz. That's my dog. Mm. Um, I listened to Chris B. And what's the? Uh, I forgot his name. He used. He he made a song called Smile. I don't know his name though. But and I listened to uh, Zilla too. Coming okay. up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Some of the some of the Cuse OGs. Some of the Cuse mm -hmm. legends. Um, what did you grow up listening to outside of just just in general? Chief Keith, Meat Mills, you know, just like basic hip hop like that. Uh, Rich Homie Quan, Young Thug, mm. them. Okay. You know, I, ain't I really was, I was really inspired by them too. I like their music a lot growing up. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I kind of noticed that though, because when I was, when I was checking out your uh, mixtape that I was just telling you about, um, when I was checking it out, I noticed. You know, it's easy to be from New York State and want to mm -hmm. hop on that drill wave and kind of make that type of music. Yeah. But listening to your catalog, you don't really go in that direction. You're kind of more melodic and kind of more about melodies and stuff mm -hmm. like that. What kind of, is that, is that purpose? Like, are you doing that on a purpose to stay yeah. away from that? Or is that just your kind of sound? Like, what no, makes that's, you, That's yeah. my sound. But I also do that just because, like, a lot of artists in the town don't. You know, mm. like, they can't go from drill to singing and switching it up. So I put that out there for everybody to see, too, that okay. I'm just not no rapper. I'm an artist. Right. What was, what was life like just growing up in Syracuse for you? Um, life in Syracuse, it was good. Um, you know, it's, just, it's, it's regular. It's the trenches, as they call it. You know, most people don't think of it as the trenches, though. They think of it as suburb. They think of it mm -hmm. as you. But like, think of college Yeah, town. college and all that. Yeah. But everywhere, I ain't gonna lie, south side, east side, west side, it was all crazy. But, you know, for the most part, my mom, she tried to keep me out of it. Okay. But, yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, you know. As I grew up, I just smelt myself, wanted to do my own thing, and just wandered off into the streets. But Syracuse, I don't really think it's that bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not. I feel like every place has its good spots and its bad spots. Right. Mm -hmm. And you, you gotta give mom credit. You just you just walked the stage. I just saw yeah, your graduation yeah, footage. Like too, she yeah. she did a good job, <laughs> right? You made it there. Yeah, she did. She most definitely did. She back there. For sure. Shout out mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so when you started just making music, what what was the first experience that you can remember just being in a studio or maybe just writing your first rap? Like what was that first, first introduction into just like all right, I'm about to be a rapper like what was that i made that a point? song i made a song i thought it was trash but okay. like, i got to the neighborhood and i got around my family and i played it for them and they liked it so when my little sister and my little brother really liked it, this song i'm like yeah i gotta do this yeah like, you know they <laughs> like it so i'm gonna just keep it going there was a day one fans yeah that's a fact right um i was listening to some of the early stuff too mm -hmm. and like even like two years ago there was a couple things i jotted down um like voices, mm -hmm. fire, and yeah. it got it's like eighteen views or eighteen thousand views. My bad, eighteen thousand views. Mm -hmm. um, 
and what do you remember just do you remember putting out those those songs and just seeing like what the reception was yeah I what that lie. felt like really, for you i didn't really think voices was gonna blow like that so I just put it out like everybody. That's a song that I didn't like. Mm. I ain't like voices. It always kind of happens like yeah, that. Yeah, telling everybody like they like, yo, you need to do a video to that. You gotta do a video. I'm like, man, I don't really like that song. I think it's trash. So when I put it out, I just put it out like, all right, the town like it, so I'm gonna just let them flow with it. But then it started going up. Then it got to 5k, 10k, 15. I'm like, damn, like this shit, it's really doing something. Right. But like that was where like a point. Like I dropped that song and I was just in school, so I like I really wasn't worried about music no mm -hmm. more. So, yeah, I was around that time. Did that make you kind of want to start pursuing it more? Like, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Most definitely. Once I um, once I seen the views on it mm -hmm. and they ain't have no promotion or nothing, I'm like, right. hey, there's something I could do. Right. Um, and then there was also Through the Rain. Yep, Through the Rain. That's fire, too. Yep, thank you. You got thank a few you. things that were from, like, that two years ago. Like, you can tell there was a little bit of a hiatus, but mm -hmm. it's like you were on a run for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh -huh. Now it's back with a vengeance. It yeah, sounds it's, like I'm back now, man. I ain't got nothing but no time right now, so you know, I'm gonna apply that pressure. Okay, what was the um, thought process behind putting together your tape? Wake up. Um, wake up. I actually, everybody just really. I I actually sat back and looked at my YouTube channel, and like I always would drop like songs, 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 and then I drop a video. Yeah. And then I just felt like it was no point of doing that anymore. So it's like I just had all these songs, and I feel like I could just drop this just and have everybody, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. have everybody listen to that, and then just do like you know videos of those, yeah. stuff like that. And I really felt like the more I put more videos singly, they wasn't really gonna get listened to as much as if I put them together okay. and turn them out like this. Okay. Yeah. Are you feeling like you're getting that? Mm -hmm. reaction that you wanted from yeah. people especially not on on instagram yeah the instagram make the, the gram make the buzz man if y'all ain't got instagram get on instagram right that Word. i feel like that's like the it's not the main marketing tool because definitely tiktok uh, it's a whole another world over there but yeah, it's like too. instagram nah, is a must too, tiktok too i ain't gonna lie tiktok buzzing i had i posted through the rain on tiktok and that junk was like at 130k within like three days it's Right. Fact, I'm like, yeah, I'll be on TikTok too. Okay. You be on there <laughs> yeah. doing your little hit Do a little dance dances and all, and all that. Okay. Doing it with my little sister. That's funny. <laughs> I, I didn't even expect that. You you a nah, dancer yeah. too? I dance with her. Okay, okay. Um, so as far as, you know, obviously getting back into the swing of putting out music and everything. Mm -hmm. Right now, Syracuse, I feel like, kind of has a buzz, right? Would yeah. you say? Yeah, I feel like we got a buzz. What do you What do you feel about just the current state of just the Syracuse music scene? The Syracuse music scene, I feel like we doing good. Everybody doing good on every side of town, but it's like everybody just to put their side issues apart and just support each other, and I feel like we get noticed way more. That's the only problem we got. Other than that, everybody make good music. Everybody got their own flow, kind of. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if everybody just support each other and put things to the side, we can make it somewhere. I like that. Do you do you feel like it's hard to kind of maneuver through like the politics at all? Like, have you come into any situation like, like, oh, I want maybe I want to collab with this artist or anything like that at yeah, all? Yeah, most definitely. Okay. Most definitely, cause it's like it's a lot of side you yeah. know, issues in the town. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it kind of get personal. So it's like when you try to go and reach out and do something with other artists from a different side of town, you know, they got certain people behind them. Yeah. And you got certain people behind you. There's so always it's some like, type of history. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, yeah, hopefully but, we get in there, though. Yeah, in the future, I don't got no problem with it. Me, personally, I don't got no problem with it. If it's business, it's business. And it's just that. Right. I mean, you're just to speak about like you and um, the the artists that you're around, you know, like SSOD. Yep, SSO. Um, even like legend cute legend rada yeah, yeah. it's like i feel like the east side has always had yeah. uh, some type of buzz musically even back in the day you know like we were saying earlier like felony set like there's always been some type of buzz what do you think it is about like is it maybe we like you guys all grew up kind of looking at them that makes it like nah we can get this lit over yeah. here again too like what is it that you think about just you guys that is kind of just bubbling again on that side of town. I feel like it's the eras of rap. Like, cause I'm real close to like PC, that's from Felony Set, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, C Newt, that's my cousin. So it's like them being around them, growing up, made me want to keep it going. So like my generation that's coming up now, 
I'll force that into them. And the ones under me, they even like rapping too. So it's like, right. you know, we all just keep it going. Just keep going. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anybody else um, outside of the like artists that we mentioned that you would want to collaborate with in Syracuse? Um, collaborate with. Yeah, collaborate. Um, damn, that's a tricky one. <laughs> Collaborating with an artist. Well, like I wouldn't really want to collaborate with no artists right now, but like the ones that I'd be around, such as like Go Get 'Em, mm. Fuji, uh, Lil Two Threes. You got Nooski. I got some Rada. That's in the cut, and you okay. know, me and SSO, we got a lot of music. Mm -hmm. So it's like nobody besides them right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, let the people know kind of what's coming next for you. Any final words, anything that, you know, people should expect? Let them know where they can find you. Um, like we said, um, I got a mixtape. So if you ain't already tapped into that, it's called Wake Up. Look that up on YouTube. A little mugger, you're going to see that when you pop up. Subscribe to me too, man. Don't just go listen to it. Go subscribe. Got it. And, you know, you can also <laughs> find me on IG, Tori underscore 2119. I'm going to keep y'all posted. With anything I do as far as videos, new songs, whatever I got going on, I'm going to let y'all know on there, so just stay tuned. Bet. Like he said, that, that tape, Wake Up, Fire, Gas, I listened to it to myself today. It is fire. Y'all yeah, heard it from her, so if you ain't go tune in, go tune in. Okay. Oh, real quick, I got a couple little fire questions, and we'll get out of here. Mm -hmm. Rapid fire. All right. All right. First one, weed or alcohol? Weed. Weed. Do you yeah. drink any alcohol at all? Yeah, I drink Patron. And Bel Air. I don't, I don't consider Bel Air alcohol, though, right? Nah. It's more of a champagne. Oh, yeah. A little bubbly. Yeah. So you could just say Patron, Patty LaBelle. <laughs> she gets you right. Oh, Tequila. my God. No. Yeah. Um, all right. My next one Air Forces or Jordans? I'm going to go with the Air Forces because, like, when I grew up, I always had every Jordan. So I'm going to just go with the Air Forces. Them the number one. Black or white? White, <laughs> white. We gonna go with white. We call those D Coombs uptown. Okay. So we we'll go with the D Coombs. Bet, bet. Um, Chicago drill or New York drill? Chicago drill. Yeah, that's where it all started. Yeah, they can't. New York. I don't know. They, we just some New Yorkers still in a wave. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yes. yeah. Who's your favorite from that era? That Chicago era? Chief Keef. Mhm. Mm He's the goat. That's a fact. He started it. Okay. Can't forget him. Definitely not. Can't. Forget him. can't. Um. Last question here. This might be a tricky one. Might be putting you on the spot in front of your mom. <laughs> but <laughs> this one, you got to fuck, marry, kill. Lotto, Glorilla, Ice Spice. Lotto get married. They glow. I'm hitting that. Nah, for the for trenches, the I got to hit trenches. that. Got to hit that. And ice Spice. <laughs> Sorry. I would have wanted to hit it, but you got to go. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll sorry. i catch another round. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's a fact. I'll catch her another round. <laughs> well, I appreciate you sitting down with us today. Yeah, thank you. Um, wishing you the best. Hope to yep, see, yep. you know, no, no more music, um, more content, um, shows. Any any shows, anything yeah, like gotta, that? Um, it's something that we were just recently talking about. It's in Atlanta. Something coming up for artists. Is, so if you know what I'm talking about, make sure y'all go tap in because we're going to be there. Okay. That's a fact. All right. All right. Well, it's Day today. We just tapped in with Lil Mugga. Make sure y'all tap in with him, too. It's Cold Orange Live. We out.